Hey guys, what is going on? Randall419, the man with the million. Bringing you a new video. It's going to be a little opinion piece about the Xbox Scorpio and the rumored downgrades, right? So we talked about this topic on TXR Podcast on Monday. It was a pretty good show. I have the link to the description of the TXR Podcast channel. As always, in the description of the video, along with my Twitter and Twitch and all that social media funness, uh, make sure you follow me wherever you want. But let's get into this. Okay, so the rumors came out, or a rumor started by, I don't even know who it was really started by, PlayStation people, random people on the internet. I don't know. Either way, I picked up Steam. I got on NeoGAF, got on N4G, got on a few other places that, in the interview phil spencer said something about price and then this rumor kind of started that oh well because of this the scorpio uh is going to get downgraded from six teraflops to five teraflops and from 12 gigabytes of ram to 10 gigabytes of ram right and you know what they say that you know you should never believe everything you read on the internet obviously uh because this is absolutely absurd and i'll get into my reasons why i think it's absolutely absurd it's like people don't remember when the ps4 pro was coming out this year where okay here are the specs you know was it 4.2 teraflops but no the playstation insiders were like nah it's gonna be 5.4 you know, to try to make it seem like it was better. When in reality, of course it wasn't, because there's not enough time to uh, implement, you know, an upgrade of that performance in the short amount of time they had. So anybody who knew with the brain knew that those rumors were just bullshit, right? And, you know, the PS4 Pro came out just like the uh, documents said they would be, you know, the, all the specs were the same, and those insiders went quiet. Well, now they're back, and they're saying, well, Scorpio's been downgraded, Scorpio's been downgraded, uh, you know, like, you silly Xbox, how dare you get excited for the system? It's not even six teraflops anymore, right? Well, here's what I gotta say to that. You know, I, I have a lot of strong opinions about a lot of stuff in gaming, and, uh, number one, Xbox Scorpio will absolutely not be downgraded at all in any sense of the word. And this isn't any sort of inside information because I don't know really anything about Scorpio other than what's been said publicly. But you have to actually look at this from a logical perspective, which I know a lot of people out there don't like doing. They like getting their emotions. They let their emotions run rampant. They let their emotions cloud their judgment and their logical functions. Okay, and what I mean by this is you take the statement, Microsoft at E3, they came out without provocation from anybody other than maybe Sony's pro specs leaking. They decided, you know what, we are going to show off our new system that's coming out next year. You know, the fans weren't demanding they do it. The press weren't, de weren't demanding they do it. Hell, the press even ridiculed them for announcing the Scorpio on the same show as the Xbox One S. I remember articles about how, oh, did Microsoft just kill off the Xbox One S? Then when they announced the Scorpio, I'm sure you guys remember those same articles too. And what happened? The Xbox One S is pretty goddamn successful. And it's mainly because it's a great product and it's also a year from the Scorpio. You know, like, but like, get back to it. There was no pro provocation for Microsoft for even announcing the Scorpio that it existed. The fans weren't demanding it. The media weren't demanding it. Microsoft did it of their own volition. They announced it at E3 with a nice little video. They made sure to mention that it was six teraflops of power and it had 12 gigabytes of RAM. From their own video that they made, this was a pre-recorded video. This wasn't something in an interview. This wasn't something, you know, off the wall where some executive said something to one magazine or one outlet and one said to another. This was a calculated video that went through PR and made it out to the big stage to the whole world, basically saying, there is a new system coming. These are the specs, right? And now the rumors come out that like, wait a minute, nah, those aren't the specs. Like it's actually going to be five teraflops. It's actually going to be, you know, 10 gigabytes. And I, I just shake my head. It's like none of you guys are thinking logically. If you honestly believe that rumor for a millisecond, you're not thinking logically, right? Because if Microsoft wanted to give themselves some leeway in the specs of the system, when they announced Scorpio at E3, 
they never would have said what the specs were. All they sh would have said was, it's the most powerful console ever when it comes out. They didn't. They they, they wouldn't have to have mentioned the 6 teraflops. They wouldn't have mentioned the 12 gigabytes of RAM. It, they just would have been like, it'll be the most powerful. And everybody would have been like, okay. And then journalists and everybody would have been like, well, what are the specs? What are the specs? And they would have been like, we'll tell the specs later. But they came out at front and be like, these are the specs. These are the teraflops. These, this is the RAM, right? They're not going to change that. Hell, they've done interviews since then, right? Oh. Albert Pinello, a couple months ago, was on Tick Podcast, guy? the Inner Circle Crazy. Podcast, hey. a great podcast uh, for Xbox people. Hey. I recommend you guys go the check them out. Time, check out his interview. I mean, he said on the, uh, in their podcast that they want to do 4K on compromise, 60 frames per second. And they talked about... The power of the system with six teraflops and 12 gigs of RAM, right? Shannon Loftus has done interviews. All these executives have done interviews where they said that this is the power, right? They've been on record since since E3, constantly hitting their, you know, hitting the PR point that uncompromised 4K, uncompromised 4K, native 4K, right? And that these are the specs. Phil Spencer had to come out, and I find this ridiculous that Phil Spencer even had to answer on Twitter. Phil Spencer had to come out and say, nothing has changed since our announce. And it's like, no fucking shit. Of course nothing has changed. Because if something changed, and this is why like, I, don't, I can't believe people have changed. Like, if, let's just say, let's humor, humor me for a second here. Let's, let's suppose... They actually did change, right? Let's let's they they changed the teraflops from six to five, the RAM from twelve to ten, like the rumors suggest. Do you know how much of a shitstorm Microsoft would get? Right, even more than the DRM shitstorm, which was pretty big, which they eventually got rid of. I mean, how most people are well, not most people, but a lot of people are more accepting a digital now than they were in 2013, but. They would get a shitstorm from for, from the press for announcing a system a year early with specs and then changing those specs that Microsoft gave out willy nilly, like without anybody asking. They would get crucified from Sony fans, right? But more importantly, Microsoft would get crucified from Xbox fans because Microsoft are the ones going around touting the performance of their system especially in comparison to the PS4 Pro and saying look how much better our system is going to be we are going to be able to do native 4k you know whether 60 frames or 30 frames depends on the title I'm just I guess it would be more 4k 30 but all first party games are going to be 4k uh, native you can take that to the bank the third parties, you know, that'll be up to them. But if they did change the specs, they would get crucified by everybody. It would be a shitstorm so big that I don't know if they could recover from that. Because they've come out ahead and said these are the specs, and then they change them later. People would be pissed. People would lose faith in Xbox. If you, you, you can't lie to people like that, especially in a year advance. You can't say one thing, and then a year later be like, nah, what we really meant was this five teraflops. And yeah, maybe the system's going to be expensive. Maybe it'll be $500. Maybe it'll be $600. We don't know the price, but one thing we do know for sure is that those specs they announced at E3 and they've been talking about since then, those are going to be real. The system will have the specs that they announced in E3. Otherwise, it's just a complete and utter shitstorm for Microsoft. And I think with Phil helming the show since Matrick left, I think they've done an excellent job of turning around the Xbox One from what it was. And they're not going to let a change in specs ruin that shit. Uh... You know, I I don't know why people believe this nonsense. Uh, people just need to use some logic when it comes to these things. There's no way Microsoft, on God's green earth, is going to change the specs that they shared with everybody at E3. Because, you know, there's just absolutely no way. The, the shitstorm they would get would be so immense that they want, would want to avoid that. Maybe the system's going to be expensive, and it, maybe it'll fail on that. But I think it'll do pretty well, because I think it'll be priced appropriately, and the power will be pretty good. But there's no way it's getting changed. So, with that, hope you guys liked the video. Hit that like button. Sub for more content, as it'll be coming every day. And I will see everybody tomorrow. Later.